Hi friends, Jennifer Pearson here at Thistle Gypsy. And I just got something in the mail. I can't remember where I found out about these. I don't recall if it was somebody on YouTube or if it was suggest a suggestion in on Amazon, you know, when I was looking at cards. Um, but anyway, I got the National Geographic, and they have a, s a whole series of these. National Geographic 52 Picture Playing Cards Extraordinary Earth. So this is Extraordinary Earth. They have something about mankind, um, a general animal one, one specifically for the ocean, and one specifically for birds. This is the backing, and these are the fronts. Okay, so you have a different earth scene um, on every single card. And so this was another one of my ways of getting around the fact that I don't have a kind of a place-oriented deck. I had um, done a video earlier about uh, a book that I got that would allow me to do that as well. But this is also an option. So again, these are the backs. And this is considered a playing deck. I don't know what. I mean, you could, I suppose, play with it. It would be a little difficult. It's hard to read some of the things on there. Um, there's nothing, nothing comes with it. There's nothing. Just the pictures and the cards. And I'll show you on the face of the cards. And it's not normal playing card size. This is a bicycle deck. Well, let me get let me get one card, otherwise it's a little skewed. So there's a bicycle deck, or a bicycle card. So they're smaller than, well, I don't know if they're smaller than maybe a low scarabeo. Let me grab a low scarabeo deck. Here, no, that's... So this is a low scarabeo. Um, the National Geographics are a little shorter and a little wider. So that gives you some idea. So a nice size. And they're just, make sure I've got that. Yep. They're a nice size. I haven't tried to shuffle them. I thought I would take you through them. Did I put both of them in there? Oh my gosh. You gotta wonder. No, nope, I must have put it in the back. Yes. Um, I thought I would do a walkthrough. Just so you can see what's there. Because I hadn't found a walkthrough on these. And so you see down at the bottom of each card, it has a location. They're not all within the United States. The majority of them seem to be in the United States and Australia. I haven't done one of my usual analyses <laughs> of the deck because I just got it. So this is just a getting to know you moment. Um, I'll play with it further and make videos as I do. Um, you know, one thing you know, in the, in the United States, we're rather, and I am too, I'm in love with the American West, okay? But sometimes I think it gets too much of the attention, you know, and, and then this deck might be a little bit that way. Because um, we have beautiful areas all over. So there you go, and it, the type is so small, I'm not going to try to read the type on the bottom of each one. I suppose I could just show you up close like that. This is not the only lightning card. So these are forces of nature, landscapes, fortunes. Okay, I'm not going to take the time. If it's not going to do it, it's not going to. You're just going to have to get the cards. <laughs> okay, whirlwinds there. Dust devil. That's like Yellowstone. I think this is someplace in Chile. But I love that. I mean, I don't know what association there is with that, but this strikes me just as a sacred mountain card. You know, forces of nature, the geysers. We have Old Faithful in here also. I just, so, you know, it is one of those 
if you get this, you obviously have to create your own meanings or you have to read them intuitively. So it can be more work than getting, you know, a Rider Waite Smith type of deck and just going with it. But I really wanted an Earth deck like this, a places deck, a, you know, a connection to places kind of a deck. And so I'm going to I'm going to try it. I'll do deck interviews with it. <laughs> see what I come up with. That was old faithful there. Good old northern lights. I'll ramble here. You know, one of the things, yuck, I see the northern lights and when I was visiting my parents, we did a we one of the evenings we spent um, watching a program about the sun. You know, a lot of times people treat card readers, people who don't know much about card readers, treat card readers as though they're totally foofy and would not be at all interested in science or would flout science or whatever. And it's I love science. Um, you know, I went on the science march. <laughs> I'm all for it. And. Um, so things like when I see this and I think of the different ways that what I learned the other day might factor into my interpretation of that card. Isn't that a cool image with that one person there? It's, it's actually a volcanic something. It's a crater in Hawaii, Volcanoes National Park. The person standing there amidst the steam. To me, this this um, this just evokes sexuality for some reason. Other people might think I'm crazy, but there you go. So I think I could really look at these cards and come up with all kinds of associations. This is actually a river. I think in Alaska. I'm going to have to get out my magnifying glass and take a look at them. This is strange. I've never seen this before. This is Iceland, not too terribly surprising, but um, with the, you know, with that active volcano in the back, I don't think I've ever seen that. Baobab trees. So we have some trees. This is probably about the most microscopic or, you know, the, the most intimate sort of a picture. You know, it is the spider web. The rest of them are large. Well, here's a macro. This is, here's a macro image of gases trapped in ice. I just think these could be really evocative. I would love to have, you know, it's too bad that Eclectic is no longer functioning because it would be so cool to have like a bunch of people get these cards or those who do get them and, you know, have, you know, a card maybe for a week and just say, what would be yours? This is Devil's Tower, right? So we're all thinking Close Encounters <laughs> of a certain generation. Um, I've, I've been there since, but I first saw the movie. Um, you know, and just say, well, you know, what, what do you get out of this card or association with this place in order to develop um, a very, you know, a rich potential associations for each card. So I'll play with it, sort sort through it, and see what I think in terms of um, any biases that it has, which will be fun, be fun for me anyway. I have the Mankind deck 
coming also, and the one that is more terrestrial animals. I don't know if it also has birds and other things or not. So I'll let you know when I get those as well and just do a walk through. I'd be really curious to see how what comes of a deck interview with this thing. And in case somebody thinks that maybe there was a, this is created by National Geographic, so if they think that there was a closet um, tarot, tarot reader, esotericist, whatever you want to call them, secretly hiding away somewhere in there and thinking, yeah, let's make this this deck, and we're not we're not going to tell them that there are tarot associations. I didn't get anything. Like this is the eight of, this would be, if you take diamonds to be the pentacles, then, um, or, uh, yes, coins or pentacles, then this would be the eight, would be kind of about work, and to me that's not at all about work. There are other pictures that I could think of would be related to, you know, doing, being in the process of work, but wouldn't be that one. I don't know if this... How this best shows up, it's waves. <clears throat> there are a number of volcanoes here. I love that. How's that for a sacred spiral? Or even a Kali related card or something like that. Alright. So I'm not going to belabor this. I just wanted to do a walkthrough and let people know about it. I think I'd mentioned it at some other time when I discovered them. I think I just came out and said, hey, everybody, this is this. And they've just kind of been sitting there in my my wish list. They're not very expensive, um, but they're not part of Amazon Prime, I don't think. So you're getting them from another vendor and I think it was twelve dollars total. They they're advertised as, you know, seven ninety nine or something like that, but when you add the shipping then it ends up being um twelve bucks. Twelve or thirteen. I saw some for thirteen that had free shipping. So there you go. Another thing to consider, just what we all needed, right? <laughs> Alright. Take care everybody. Bye bye.